Today I am here at Greg's Music Center in Newcastle, California, which is just a ways out of Sacramento. Now I've known Greg for actually a very long time, um, way back when, in I think 2008 or thereabouts, we actually won the Roland Atelier competition together. Um, I was in the, the Young Artist um, category and he was in the Seasons Pro category, but we both won our respective divisions at, at the same time, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and Greg actually has a store here in Newcastle, which is where I am today. And he specializes in having uh, high-quality pre-owned electronic organs, and they're all very, very cool. And now for a long time, I've been an advocate of um, buying used pianos because you can get such a good deal on a used piano versus what you would have paid for when that piano was new. You can get absolutely fantastic deals. And the same thing is 100% true with electronic organs. And you can find amazing deals like this awesome Lowry organ and also like AT900 um, organs that cost a lot of money when they were new, but you can actually pick them up for a very reasonable amount and um, when they're used. And these ones here are in excellent condition and they all work very, very well. The Larry organ I'm sitting at here today has some really cool features. First of all, you have a backrest. What organ have you ever seen that has a backrest? And it's a really high quality backrest too. It looks like you can adjust it with these knobs and you've got all these really cool features. It's really sturdy, it's made with this nice high quality wood. And on top of that, the bench has storage, but what's cool, is they will actually open up and so you've got all this um, storage compartment for like CDs and things like that and there's a little section here and uh, it's all this nice wood and it slides away and there's a little lock underneath that you lift up to open it up and then it slides open and there's actually the same thing on the other side of the organ as well there's another slot here this very hefty piece of wood can come out these are like slots for CDs and this would be various little um, gadgets and things that you wanted to keep inside of the organ and for some reason the first thing that comes to my, my mind when I see these drawers is you can hide snacks in there. <laughs> I don't know why that was the first thing that came to my mind but it was. So now let me open up this cover and show you around this awesome Lowry organ. This is a Lowry uh, Palladium organ, and a, a while back I reviewed a Lowry Royale organ, but this is a step above the Lowry Royale. And as you can see, it has this really cool roll top desk um, cover, which I will roll up just like so to reveal the inside of the organ. I'll get to all this stuff in a second. There's a lot of cool things it can do, but first I just want to talk a little bit about this lid, uh, this foldboard, this cover, whatever you prefer to call it. It's a really nice feature. It has a really high quality feel when you roll it up and down. It's smooth, it has a nice weight to it, and it also, it just looks cool. Um, you know, when the organ is closed, it looks neat, and of course, when you roll it up, uh, it also looks neat. There's a little metal pad under here for uh, little handholds, and it's very, very nice. Now, as you can see, this is a very fancy organ. We have lots of cool features. We've even got a touchscreen here. You can go in here and you can change dials and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, can I escape from this menu? I'm sure I can somehow. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, so it's stuck on that screen for now because I can't figure out how to exit out of it. But it has a touch screen, which is pretty cool. You can also use buttons to scroll up and down with. I just realized that feature clear. Ah, that's how I exit out of the menu. I hit feature clear. That makes sense. And so there's all kinds of things it can do, and there's so many cool features. So first, let's talk about the lights. Now, as you can see, we've got all kinds of cool lights here that show the display level of your different manuals. This is your lower manual, so if I play something here, you can see that it actually will change it. And uh, red means, I assume, that it's like this is four full lights. If you push it again, it's like four and a half, and then a full five, and then five and a half, and then six. And so it's a pretty neat little feature here. Now, we also have a lot of cool lights. As you can see right here, there are uh, small little LED lights underneath the floppy disk drive and then also over here with the CD disk drive to help illuminate the light, the buttons that are here when you're running at night. And then there's uh, some more cool features over here. This button here turns off the pedals. So if you push it and the light is on, the pedals will be off. If you turn it back on, there are the pedals and they're making noise. So if you don't want to use the pedals or when you get in and out of the organ or your feet, you want to just rest your feet there, you can turn off the pedals and not have them make all kinds of noise. We also have lights for the pedals, which is one of my favorite features. It's a really nice, very bright LED light bar that is underneath of the organ here. As you can see, when I turn it on and off, they make a great difference. This is probably one of the best pedal lights I've seen in an organ. It really, it casts light over all of the pedals and it's very bright and it's, it's really focused and it's a really nice feature. We also have a light for the music desk. Similarly, it is a LED light. It's kind of subtle here because we've got lights overhead, but as you can see, there is a light bar similar to the one under the pedals and it can turn on and off at the touch of a button. Very nice feature as well.
Another cool thing this organ can do uh, with lights is you have, as you can see, a bunch of letters here talking about the names of the notes. So you've got A, A sharp, or B flat, B, C, C sharp, or D flat, D, blah, blah, blah. And you can actually toggle those. So if you push this button over here that says ABCs, it does not sing the ABC song to you. Instead, it lights this up. And there's also two levels of brightness there. You have the medium, and then you have the bright, and then you can turn them off. And the light over here for ABCs actually changes color. The orange light is low volume, red is brightness, and then blank is off. So it's a very nice feature. I personally don't need it, but I do like that feature because it will keep people from putting, I'm sure you're all familiar with those little stickers people will put on the keys. This way here, you don't have to put those stickers on the keys. It's actually built in, but if you don't need it, you can just simply turn off the light and completely ignore the letters, which I really like that feature. I didn't even notice the letters were there when I first came up to the organ. Now, this organ is kind of inspired by like a theater organ, as you can see by the, the whole shape of the organ, the way it kind of curves up and around. And we also have these uh, tabs that we can push on and off to activate various organ functionalities. These are flute sounds and flute percussion, like you would have on a pipe organ, and also a theater organ. Percussion is something a uh, theater organ would have. And we've also got all these other flute sounds here that I will now activate all of them. We also have strings as well. I'm going to turn off the flute sound so we can hear just the strings. There's also vocal and string sustain, which also works on the vocal ensemble. And as you can see, the red light means it's activated, and the light is off means that there's nothing going on there. And so that's what you have on the upper side. And then basically, you have this half of the tabs is for the lower manual, and this half of the tabs is for the upper. And you can actually toggle them completely on and off with the two tabs that say upper and lower tabs. For example, down here on the lower, we've got two flute sounds. If I toggle this tab, it, it shuts up and goes away, which is a nice feature as well. And uh, so if you just want to completely mute everything, instead of pushing every single one like I was doing, you can just completely mute them all and they won't do anything. Let me bring that back. And over here, we've got more features that involve the flute sounds. We've got flute, vibrato, and tremolo. This is for the lower manual. This is for the upper manual. That's about all that does. It's a nice little feature, and you also have slow as well. And then with it off, it doesn't do it at all. You can have it on either slow or fast or not at all. So it's kind of like a Leslie speed control, except there is no actual moving Leslie. It just it changes the way the, the, the music sounds to kind of give it that rotary style effect. We've got all kinds of neat buttons up here that will make different sounds. This looks like it's the upper. Yes, this is the upper manual. And we've got all these different sounds for orchestral. We've got piano, jazz guitar, banjo. I, com I comboed that with the accordion there on accident. It looks like you can put, you can push two at the same time to get um, multiple sounds at once. You can also toggle the repeating here on the marimba by hitting that. Nice little feature. We've got trombone, strings, country guitar, electric piano, harp, Hawaiian guitar, or I guess like a slide guitar kind of. Shame it doesn't have portamento to actually slide in between the notes. That would be kind of cool. This is just a sample of some of the sounds it can do, and I assume you can also kick those down onto the lower as well. It looks like you can. Yes, you can kick them onto the lower as well. Lower left or lower right. So that means that if you hit the lower left, the left hand side of the lower manual will be, will be playing the orchestral sound, and the right half actually sounds like it's still doing the same thing, but I know if I hit lower right. This is the organ sound, and up here, is the big band ensemble sound. So that's a kind of a neat feature as well. Over here is kind of fun. We have genius sounds, and basically these are sound effects. We've got surf, we've got a bell tree, we've got snare roll, cymbal crash, applause, and then these ones here are actually programmable. That's like a car horn from like a Model T, and then this one is a church bell which is kind of cool. 
And I think that's about it for um, many of the features on the organ. It can also do all kinds of other things over here. For example, we have a CD player that you can open up. And it's just it's a CD player that you can open up and then put CDs into or probably make recordings. Uh, it, yeah, you look like you can make recordings. So you can play the organ and hit record and then make recordings and probably burn them right onto the CD, which is a pretty nice feature. Before I get around to playing this organ, there's a couple of features that I forgot to talk to you about. One of them is this virtuoso bar here that you might have noticed because it looks like a little miniature keyboard, and you're probably wondering, what exactly does that do? You can't play it. Well, actually, you kind of can play it, and what it's there for is it's a automatic glissando bar, so instead of doing something like this on the keys, you can just do this, and it will give you a glissando sound. And it sounds like it's a harp sound, and it, what's weird is it's actually quite responsive. You can't do the black notes, but you can actually kind of play each note individually, which I was actually really surprised about. But that's what that's there for, in case you noticed that and you were curious about what it does. And um, as you can see, there is the badge stating that this is the Palladium model organ. And one other thing that I wanted to mention about this organ is on the other side here, there is another badge that says it was built specifically for Edward and Ruthann Marble. And so at one time, Lowry actually built custom organs to people's specifications. And I'm, I'm sure that it would include what type of wood you wanted and what additional features you wanted. And uh, it's, that's really cool that it actually has a special badge on there talking about who it was built for. So if you bought the, an organ like this back in the day, you could have your name on this plaque here. One final feature I forgot to mention, and it's honestly one of my favorite features about this organ, is actually the music desk. Now, as you can see, the music desk is kind of far away, and um, it would be difficult to read sheet music at that distance. You might have to lean forward or something. I think I could probably read sheet music, but I like to have the sheet music somewhat close to my face anyway, especially if I'm trying to figure out what some weird notation is. And so what's cool is what Lowry has done is while this is a fixed music desk and you can't move it around, there is actually a secondary music desk. This is what this is, and as you can see, there's even LED lights on this music desk. They actually turn off when you roll it away. As you can see, when I roll it out, they come on, and when I push it in, they go away. And actually, it switches the power from being up here, as you can see, to being down here, which is such a cool feature. I just noticed that. So this will actually roll out. Then there's a little piece of, I assume this is like plastic, plexiglass. I think it's plexiglass. And then that can fit into a slot right there. And so then that moves the music desk up by at least half a foot to a foot. So then you can really get be able to see the, um, the music much up close. As you can see now, my face is very close to it, whereas before I would have had to move my face a, ridiculously, a ridiculous distance to be able to get that close to the other music desk. So that is a really cool feature. There's felt here to help grip your sheet music, and it's just a great feature. I don't think I've ever seen something quite like that on an instrument where there's actually a second music desk that will slide forward. And it slides away very nicely, and there we go. So now let's get around to playing this organ. I'm actually going to play a uh, hymn that was harmonized by Bach on this organ. Now, even though I'm going to be playing church music on this organ, church music isn't the only thing you can play on an organ like this. And I wanted to, I'm going, after I play the hymn, I'm going to play something else that is definitely not religious music on this organ that I think you guys might enjoy. So let's play Bach on this organ. enjoyed that little performance of um, a very old song that was harmonized by Bach and it uh, kind of gives you an idea of something that this organ can do and it can do a wide variety of sounds. Now another cool feature I wanted to point out about this organ is um, the rhythm plus orchestration up here that it's a really neat feature and it's actually a lot of fun to play. So if I just play a really simple melody it won't exactly sound like much will it? 
If I were to play something like that, it's not much at all, is it? But if I activate, let's just say, let's activate the waltz rhythm plus orchestration. And you can actually play single notes or full chords on the lower manual, and then that will actually tell the orchestration what to play. And there's also a really cool feature you can do here with the touch bar. There's a left touch bar and a right touch bar. On this um, rhythm, the right touch bar doesn't do anything, but I'm sure you can program it to do all kinds of cool stuff. So once I start playing here, you can notice that when I touch the touch bar, it actually does an entire arpeggio all by itself. a small little sample of another cool thing this organ can do and while for some of you who actually want to play real music on an organ that might not interest you but it's actually kind of helpful for say improvisation because it will actually just play a bunch of things for you and you don't have to worry so much about what to do and it's actually kind of a lot of fun to just kind of sit around and jam out with the organ and it's a kind of a neat feature and some of some people might get really excited about that especially if they're not a particularly uh, advanced musician because then they can sit down and enjoy some music and participate in the music even if they don't know a whole lot about music theory. One thing I do like about that system is if I activate it down here again, like I said, you can play single notes. So now we're in C, now we're in E, now we're in G, now we're in F sharp, and now we're in C sharp. You can play single notes and it will actually default to major, but if you wanted to play any other kind of a key quality, if you wanted to play minor, you can just play a minor chord. And now it's doing E minor, now it's doing D minor. I don't know if what happens if I do like augmented. Not, not much. Oh, yeah, it does. Doesn't do a whole lot, I don't think, if you do C major seven. Maybe it does. No, I don't know. I'm not sure it changes for that. But that's a kind of a cool feature as well, that you can really customize the exact chord that the music will play over. It's a feature that I enjoyed. One final feature I forgot to mention that I think would be a pretty good uh, feature to end the video off is the light show. You, there's a button that you can push and then the organ will just kind of light up all the buttons regardless of what you had set up and it's actually kind of fun to watch. Uh, in the video I had on the Lowry, Ro Lowry Royale, I had it going when I was playing the instrument, but I figured that I would leave the video off with the light show because it's kind of fun to watch. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video on this really interesting Lowry Palladium organ. It's a very interesting organ, and even though it may be a little bit older, it's not completely out of date, and the sounds sound very good, and it's a lot of fun to play, and it's been really fun to see, and it's just a high-quality organ. I really like it. So hopefully you've enjoyed it as well. It has a lot of cool features. I mean, look at the bench. How often do you get to see an organ with a backrest on the bench? And I think... Oh, I thought, yeah, on the back of the bench here, it even says Lowry on the back. So if you were facing away from the audience or family members when you were playing it, they'd still be able to see that it is indeed a Lowry organ. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. You can go check out my channel. I've got lots of videos on pianos and organs and all kinds of other cool instruments. So if any of that interests you, you might want to go check out my channel. And if you like those videos, you might want to think about subscribing. And if you do that, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.